When you think back to 1988, when he left the Bulls and came to Kingston, uh, it, the rivalry between Balbo and Kingston in those days was something like I've never seen. I don't think there's ever been a similar rivalry in junior hockey. And the fact that Mav would jump ship and come to Belleville from Belleville to Kingston was very, very shocking on, on both sides. And as a result of that, the fans in Belleville disliked Mavity because he came to Kingston. And the fans in Kingston disliked Mavity because for years before that, he was a great rival when he was coaching the Belleville Bulls. It was really a lose-lose. And then he comes here for a couple of years. He goes back to Belleville again for seven or eight years. And then he came back here a second time. So in a way, he had to feel, really feel badly for Mav in a way, I guess, because those were choices that he made. But back in those days, uh, he took a lot of flack from the fan base in, in both cities. It was also an era when there was no glass behind the benches. So if you were coaching and Mav was in both ranks, you know, he was getting it firsthand loudly from the fans behind the benches in both those ranks. But Mav had a very thick skin. Uh, he was a guy that certainly nothing ever seemed to really rattle him or bother him. And, I think in some ways uh, it actually empowered him a little bit. Like, you know, he wanted to do well uh, just to show the fans that, you know, I can win in Kingston or I can win in Belleville. But pretty remarkable that uh, he made that move not once but twice. And, and again, a very tough position to be in when you're on both sides of such a heated rivalry like that one was.